Hello and welcome to the Ruby and Roses podcast channel. This video is not normally what I do. It's normally filled with tons of knitting content, but this video is going to be previewing my Evoking Autumn collection, which is in the shop now and will be linked down below. So everything you see in this video, there will be clickable links down below. So it's going to be a bit different. I'm going to be showing you guys close up what these colorways look like in video form, of course, and just showing you everything that I've been working on over the past couple of months, actually. So yeah, this is all of my fall collection. I'm so proud of it. And I love each of these colorways. As you can see, they're behind me right now. And yeah, let's get started. So first of all, I'm before I flip the screen around to show you guys what they look like up close, as well as all of the mini color combos. I wanted to show you the items that are in the marketplace right now. So when my collection launched on September 5th, two of the products that our baskets sold out actually. So I'm not going to be showing those to tempt you guys, but a new shipment is on its way. So if you're watching this probably like the first week of October or so, then it should be in the shop. But the two basket options that are available now are my essentials basket size. So this is the one that I showed in the photo of the listing, but this will not be the exact basket you get just because each one of these are handmade and completely one of a kind. So every basket is a bit different. However, you can always leave a note in your order telling me what's your favorite colors, what colors you're hoping to get in basket form. And yeah, these are handmade in Ghana. I am just super excited to be stocking these in the shop. They are, they provide employment for the women of Ghana and help them um, create a living wage doing their craft. I think it's an amazing, amazing cause. If you want to read more about it, there is a description in this listing that basically tells you um, what you're supporting when you purchase one of these baskets. And this basket is my second favorite. My first favorite was my um, spacious basket, except that one sold out. It's just a bit bigger than this one. However, this is perfect for smaller projects. So if it's a one to two skein project, I would definitely snag this one just because it fits two skeins beautifully. And along with all of your notions and other things, your pattern, I just think it's an amazing, amazing size. And I just would also like to note that the sizes vary since they are handmade. So they vary about two inches in height and diameter. So just keep that in mind when you're purchasing one. And yeah, I am obsessed with these baskets. I've been using them. I've been storing my projects in them. And they're just a really fun product that I feel like adds such like a layer of just ambiance, I guess, when knitting. And it's just, it's all about the experience, right? When you're knitting about the beautiful yarns and just like the candles and just the cozy vibe that knitting gives. So yeah, I hope that this helps with your like inspiration and with your making experience. So yeah, this is my essential size. Like I said, it will be linked down below. And then the other size that's currently available in the shop is my petite market basket size. So I got, I brought up two different ones to show you. And so as you can see, this is a perfect example of the variations in these baskets. So as you can see, this one is slightly larger. This one is slightly smaller and a little bit taller. And yeah, I love both of them. They're just so fun. These are definitely really fun for fall, in my opinion. I love the uh, way that this beautiful chartreuse pairs with the cranberry color and the base. And of course, this one's very much me since it has a pink rim. But like I said, you can just leave me a note in your order with what color preferences you guys like. And I will definitely try my best to pick a basket that would be perfect for you. And the last item that's in the marketplace right now is my mystery 10 gram mini skein, as well as a charm designed for this collection from Katie of Lock and Lou. I wanted a charm that is just a really cozy charm that just fits the aesthetic of my Evoking Autumn collection and Katie just nailed it. She did such a good job with this one. I just love how it literally almost shimmers. I'm knitting with this on a project at the moment, which you would have seen if you watched my um, last episode of the podcast. And it's just a really beautiful light pink blanket with a really cozy candle on top. I just love this charm so much it's just so beautiful and just how she designed this with the gold clasp of course because gold is so beautiful and then it also comes with a one-of-a-kind 10 gram mini and you also have the option to purchase this by itself so if you're just in the market for a 10 gram mini this would be a perfect thing to add on to your order just to make it um have a little bit more fun in your knitting 
but yeah i love this sh i love the mini and i love how it pairs with the charm so yeah those are the options these are in the marketplace like i said they will be linked down below and yeah i wanted to just take some time to show you guys those first of all before we hop into the yarn content so i'm going to be um having all of these skeins flipped i'm gonna flip the screen around and show you guys what these look like up close i'm gonna unskein one so you can see all of the beautiful speckles and i'm also going to be pairing them with the tonals that i think look really good with them so i designed seven tonals for this collection and each colorway has a tonal however i think that a lot of the tonals from the collection coordinate beautifully with a lot of these speckle colors ways and I haven't really had an opportunity to show you guys what these look like on Instagram yet and I'm going to be doing that in my live in the next couple of days but I wanted to take a moment to show you guys what they look like here on YouTube and yeah I cannot wait to get started I have a few combos that are my personal favorite and yeah I just I'm so excited to show you guys and I hope that you find a combination that beautifully suits your knitting and just your color preferences at the moment and what you're um, hoping to cast on during this fall season and you can always shoot me an email at rubyandrosesyarn at yahoo.com if you have any questions about this collection or color combos or anything like that just let me know and I will try my best to help you guys out and just pick out a beautiful project for your making so yeah without further ado I'm gonna flip the screen around and show you guys all of the fun fun combos that this collection holds so the first colorway that I'm going to be showing you is my personal favorite from the collection and that is my bundled up colorway it is just filled with such beautiful speckles I think they all just complement each other so well and I, one of my favorite effects lately is what the speckles look like when they're slightly blended together like in this section right here I think it's just so cool how all of the speckles have blended together like the reds and the blues for instance and then how this pink is sort of sprung throughout and I love this light tan base I think it just gives it um, the perfect neutral backdrop and so this is what it looks like on my DK weight base, which is very, very squishy as you can see. Here are um, my fingering weight bases. Here are a couple of them. We have my rose gold base over here and my plump rose base here. And so yeah, this is one of the colorways. So I have a total of seven speckle colorways that I'll be showing you today. And the tonal that I decided to pair with this is my conifer colorway, which was an exclusive um, tonal in this collection. However, it will be sticking around in the shop because I have been loving to create tonals that debut in a collection and then keeping them around in the shop for a while. That's just been something fun that I've been doing lately and I just love how it pairs with um, Bundle Up. I just think it's so beautiful together and it's just, yeah, really, really fun. So this is one tonal that obviously looks beautiful with it, but another personal favorite of mine is what it looks like with Demir. I think that these two are just so, so fun and colorful, and I'm obsessed with this combination. It's just so beautiful. This would be such a fun color work project for like a color work sweater, something by like Andrea Mowry or Caitlin Hunter. I think that, um, yeah, this would just suit one of their patterns so beautifully. And so yeah, this is a really beautiful three color combo. You can see what these look like. Um, yeah, I'm just really loving, loving the vibe of this combo. So yeah, these are some tonals that I think would pair well if you're wanting something that is, um, coordinates with it like um, really, really well. I think this is beautiful. It's very subtle contrast. So I wouldn't recommend this for color work just because it is very subtle. However, if you wanted to do it in like a slip stitch design or in like a co uh, coordinating color in a shawl maybe, something very subtle that blends with it really well. I think this goes really beautifully with it. And then if you wanted something really dark, here's my vineyard colorway. As you can see, I have the labels on some of them, and that's just a really pretty combo as well if you want something really rich. And so yeah, these are the four tonals that I think pair well with it. Um, if you have any other suggestions, you can always leave them down below, but the, this is my favorite. I think this would make such a beautiful sweater or um, anything really, a blanket, some socks. This would be so beautiful. So yeah, this is my bundle up combination. Yeah, next speckle colorway in my collection, which is foliage. I think this is such a beautiful, beautiful combination. 
of oranges and just autumnal colors. I am obsessed with this colorway because um, it's just a really lovely shade of orange, but I also love all of these speckles muddled in a way that all of the blues kind of blend in with the pinks and purples and greens. And I have some fiery orange in there that just kind of ties it all together. And uh, I'm just obsessed with how all of the speckles have blended. And then we have some of this fiery red in there. Of course, I just think this is the epitome of fall. I wanted to create a colorway that just really screamed like foliage, <laughs> just really screamed the turning of the leaves and just is a classic fall colorway. So I think this is it for sure. And some of the tonals that I think go well with this, there are just so many. You can have a lot of different looks with the project depending on what you pair with it. If you want something that's subtle, you want something that's a bit more um, colorful and contrast oriented. There's just so many, so many options to to go for. And this is what it looks like unskeined. Um, yeah, I definitely can see myself knitting with this colorway in the near future. I think this would be so fun marled with marled on itself. Actually, if you held, um, if you bought like a skein of fingering weight and then held two strands together, I think that would create such a beautiful effect because it would blend all of these speckles even further and it would blend it more with the base coat which is, um, yeah, just stands out against the speckles. I think that would be such a cool effect. But anyways, that's just my personal preference. I think there's so many, so many different ideas, so many different things you can do with um, each of these colorways. So first of all, the tonal that I chose to pair with this is my Demure colorway. I wanted to create something that was just very subtle and sort of toned down this really intense um, orange. I wanted something that sort of brought out the light pink undertones in this colorway and yet really intensified that and um, was something that was a pretty stark contrast. So this fit the bill perfectly. It's blended. This um, is my Demure tonal, like I've already said, and I blended quite a few different pink colors together. I wanted to create just a really bright but yet soft pink. And I think I accomplished that with this colorway. And so um, this looks beautiful with it. However, if you wanted to do like a gold, I think this is a super fun combo. This would make a really fun color work hat. Um, you can also throw in if you want to brown with it. I personally, this is not one of my favorite combos with this colorway just because I'm not the biggest brown fan. But if brown's your color, then I think this would be really fun and tone it down. Um, here is my Lucky Penny colorway, and I think these two are smashing together. I love how they look. This is a really fun neutral pairing. And uh, another really fun colorway, if you wanted something that had a bit softer of a contrast, would be my um, Gallivant colorway, which is this one right here. It's just a really soft soft pairing so these four are my personal favorite i also think this one would go with it but i really love um how these four look together as you can see that's very much of a neutral woodsy feel and then of course we have this combo i think this is just so pretty so again we have foliage gallivant lucky penny demure and this is my golden hour tonal it's a really beautiful gold this actually debuted in my spring collection and I, like I said, I keep all my tonals around in the shop year-round. And yeah, I just think this is really beautiful with it as well. So yeah, this would be such a beautiful vibe to a project. And these are all of the tonals that I think pair beautifully with foliage. I'll give you one last look at this colorway. I love this section. Anyways, as you can see, I'm just really obsessed with this colorway. The next speckled colorway I'm going to be showing you is my apple cider colorway. I think it's just such a fun, fun color for fall. It's definitely very much a mauve colorway, just as, like mauve, but like lots of brown and tan tones in it as well. As you can see, I'll go ahead and show you a lot of the speckles. Lots of different color speckles in here. Again, it's more of a random formation of speckles as opposed to my usual dye techniques. I just think this offers such a subtle blend of colors and just let your eye drift um, along the skein. So yeah, that's apple cider. Um, here is what it looks like on my soft rose base. It's just um, a really beautiful colorway. Like I said, I really 
really think this is a beautiful colorway and this is what it looks like on my worsted base and my worsted base I don't dye up as often as my regular bases just because it's not as popular due to the thickness and the weight but I sent a skein to Whimsy North to design a pattern with she just does a beautiful job with knitting and all of her designs are so pretty and I just yeah was gonna see if she was able to do a collaboration and she made the prettiest hat out of this colorway it's beautifully just knit and it has so many fun textures textured stitch patterns on it and so yeah I will insert a picture right here to show you guys what it looks like and it's just as you can see so lovely so I dyed up quite a few skeins of worsted so you would need one skein to complete this hat project and yeah it's fully stocked in the shop so many fun colors and she knit it very quick if you want a quick knit nothing gets much quicker than a worsted weight hat it is just um, a super fun knit i definitely want to make one for myself at some point and i think it's just such a cute pattern so yeah i wanted to give her a shout out go follow her if you're not already her instagram page is just curated beautifully and just filled with so many um, fun patterns here's what it looks like on my plump rose base just um, again so many colors and I just am obsessed with the tone of this and yeah apple cider is just such a fun aspect of fall I think it's just um, it's something I personally look forward to every year I just love a hot cup of apple cider especially while knitting and it's just such a um, yeah such an amazing amazing part of fall just drinking a hot cup of apple cider while you light a candle and just knitting on your favorite fall project. I think it's just such a, yeah, such an amazing experience. So yeah, this is my apple cider colorway. The tonal that I originally paired with this colorway is my Gallivant tonal. I paired it with this one because I wanted to pull out the light tan hues. And this is also, um, a lot of the dyes in this tonal are in this skein. However, I wanted to add a little bit of pink hues to my Gallivant colorway to really pull out and complement all the different shades in this. So yeah, I think I've achieved that effect. I think it just is such a beautiful combination. I know a few of you purchased these together and I'm in the same weight and I think you're going to make sweaters with them. At least that's what I'm thinking. And I think this would just make such a stunning, stunning sweater. Like if you purchase this on Surrey, which I actually have a skein of Surrey that I will go and show you. And just to show you the difference between my tonals on my 100 gram skeins as opposed to my 50 gram skeins, which are Surrey and Mohair. Just to show you the slight color variations, all of my tonals are available on Mohair and Surrey. So if you have a pattern in mind that calls for either of those weights, then I've got you covered because I will go ahead and show you what they look like. So here is what it looks like on Surrey. As you can see, it's slightly darker, a little bit more saturated. And my Surrey base is so luscious and so soft. It's just, um, it just adds such a halo to your projects. And there's something so therapeutic about knitting with a strand of Surrey held with like a strand of fingering weight. I just, it's one of my favorite things to do. I always have a project on the needles containing um, both of these weights held together. And I also think it would be beautiful if you held like a strand of this along with like DK weight. I know that Caitlin Hunter's Kabu Cat is great for um, uh, like mohair or surrey along with like DK weight. It's a pattern I've personally had um, on my mind lately and I think this would just be such a beautiful beautiful combination. But anyways so all of these tonals are available on surrey as well as all of my regular bases of course. I just wanted to just show you guys what that looks like. And then um, another tonal that I think would pair beautifully with this um, if you wanted to do a bit more of an earthy vibe, you can pair it with like my um, festival colorway. We also have um, a color that's a bit similar to this, but it's a uh, yellow toned as opposed to orange toned, which is my nutmeg colorway. I think that is just a really fun combo as well. Um, if you wanted to do golden hour, of course I love how that looks with it because the golden hour has my heart lately. Um, here we have Demure. <laughs> Again, this is my one of my favorites. My absolute favorite is Gallivant, but if I was to choose a second, it would be Demure. So we could go ahead and show what these three look like. What these four actually. I think this is just such a beautiful vibe right here. Um, yeah, so many, so many options. If you wanted to do a green, we could do Conifer. 
so yeah as i said there's just a lot of different options i think any of these colors would be really fun with it you could pull like buy a couple like these three skeins or these four skeins i think would be really beautiful and then you could do like a color work sweater with different patches of color for each section or something like that and you could pull i would probably recommend either or you could do like this or like that i think that would be so pretty so anyways this will hopefully give you guys some ideas in planning your projects next colorway i'm going to show you is my flickering flame colorway it is just filled with so many beautiful shades i love a good gold and i've done quite a few in the past but this one is different from my usual color scheme as far as gold is concerned because of a few modifications i made so it has a lovely gold base however i added in some of this beautiful like cedar green it's just a really really pretty mosh green and i added that in however i also added in some neon yellow so there's like slight neon yellow undertones in all of these colors which just makes a yarn glow and it's just one of my favorite effects to do here and there depending on what color scheme i'm going for and i just think this is another color that really screams fall because you have all these golden colors that are just often in like maple trees especially around where i live and then you have you know obviously this beautiful green and then these pops of like fiery red and i just think that's such a like the just so fall to me is this like beautiful red and i think this is going to add such a fun pop to your knitting when you're knitting on the project and i have some like yellow speckles along with this beautiful um shade right there and yeah so just so many fun colors in this colorway here's what it looks like skeined up i just again am obsessed with how this green pairs with the gold and all the like neon yellow undertones we have a little bit of neon purple in there and all in all i think this is just such a beautiful colorway and this is what it looks like on my plump rose base and i'm obsessed with my plump rose base lately it just the two ply just adds such a magical effect to the yarn and it just like takes the dye in such a way that none of my other bases do it's so vibrant yes there's a little bit less yardage on it than my um soft rose base but I feel like it's just worth it because you have this insanely beautiful skein and yeah i just oh it's just making my heart sing so much lately because i just love how it picks up the dyes so here we have um i'll just scan it over real quick I have a little bit of neon pinks in there it's just yeah so so beautiful so anyways i hope you guys love this tonal i know you always go crazy i mean this speckle colorway you always go crazy when i do a gold and it just makes me so happy and the tonal that i decided to pair with this is my nutmeg colorway this is actually the first combination that i showed you guys on instagram you loved it so much you said that my nutmeg colorway would be a beautiful woolen honey sweater by andrea maori and it is literally the exact shade in the pattern i think it would be so beautiful i hope one of you does that and if you do please send me a photo because i would just love to see it see what that would look like and yeah i think this pairs so beautifully with it this tonal has a little bit of neon yellow in it as well along with some neon purples and things like that so it's just really um an intricate colorway that's just so unusual and unique due to the fact that i've blended some quite high contrast colors together which is some of my favorite things to do in the tonal department and i just yeah love how these two pair together i know so many of you purchased these together in quite a few skeins of this along with maybe like one skein of um, nutmeg on a coordinating base and i just think those projects are going to be so beautiful and just a real show showstopper so yeah those are my thoughts and on this one i think it would be fun to go all neutral so if you pulled out all the neutrals we have nutmeg lucky penny gallivant and i think that golden hour would be beautiful and then i think it would be really fun to throw in my conifer colorway i think this vibe is so beautiful or if you didn't want to add an extra color and if you wanted to keep this very earthy vibe then i think these would be really beautiful as well so i'll just go over the color names one more time we have flickering flame nutmeg lucky penny gallivant and golden hour 
so yeah flickering flame i named it i just i landed on that name because the neon yellow mixed with some of the oranges as well as the reds and the gold that combination of color really reminded me of the exact shade that a flame looks like and i feel like candles are such a big part of fall um, in my world i'm always waiting for fall so i can light a candle while i'm knitting because it just adds again just such an amazing experience to the knitting because it's more about it's more than just the yarn and the project it's more just about like the feeling because it's our relaxing time and what we do to like wind down so i feel like just the whole like um atmosphere of our like knitting room and things like that matter hugely in my mind so yeah i wanted to name it flickering flame i think that's just such a fun name really sums this up and just um yeah it's so beautiful so beautiful for the name so here we have these four tonals i think would be really fun with it and yeah these are some of my favorites tonals that i think pair beautifully with flickering flame next up is my log cabin getaway colorway i think that this color is so fun for um for yeah for fall it's very much neutral in my mind it's got some really fun pops of color in it but it's just a really really pretty base it's got purple undertones but it's definitely more of like a brown gray there's definitely some undertones of taupe in here and it's just um yeah just a really lovely base one of my favorites to do so i'll go ahead and show you some of the colors i decided to put with it i decided to put with this this beautiful green a little bit of pink and then some yellow speckles as well if you can see that some yellow which blended beautifully with the green and the brown to kind of create this just unusual shade like especially like right here I think it's so pretty and then um, yeah I just put in some of this beautiful blue just so many different shades of color and I just love how some of the green almost just turned a bit yellow in places like a neon yellow it's just such a beautiful color and I think it will just knit up beautifully so yeah this is what it looks like on my rose gold base here is what it looks like on my soft rose base just really beautiful and this is um log cabin getaway which mm -hmm. just reminded me of a log cabin and i think it's so fun when there's just like a surprise trip um planned hastily and it's just like um it's very spontaneous i think spontaneous trips are so fun and it just reminded me of a log cabin and i think it's very much of a fall thing to just have a log cabin in the woods and just um, have like a weekend away and i just thought these colors really capture the feeling of that and yeah, I just love looking at the ends of yarn. Does anyone else do this? I think it's just so fun. Anyways, so this is Log Cabin Getaway. I will go ahead and show you guys some of my favorite tonal pairings with these. Um, the one that I decided to pair with it is my Macchiato tonal. You're probably thinking, why would you put these two together? <laughs> I wanted to choose a color that really brought out the brown undertones of this colorway because a purple just um, almost, yeah, just like ignores the beautiful brown shades. So I thought a brown paired with this would just be so beautiful. And this brown definitely has some of the um, bright yellow undertones. It's literally, I combined the blues and yellows of this to create a beautiful brown along with some purple because creating a brown through blending purples and yellows are one of my favorite things to do and it's just so beautiful as you can see right there and then especially if you pulled like you know just this light yellow section mixed with the um, light purple base is so pretty so anyways i just thought these paired beautifully together i hope you guys love this combination log cabin getaway is not fully stocked anymore you guys have sort of cleaned me out of this colorway however i might restock it in the future um it's still available on quite a few of the bases just lower quantities and if there's a quantity that you're looking for in the shop that um, you can't get a hold of then just send me an email and i will see if i can add in a few skeins into my die schedule for that week and yeah, I just think this is such a beautiful combination. So if you wanted to do, if you did want to pull out um, the purple undertones in this and brown's not really your thing, then I would recommend my vineyard colorway. I think that um, this would be such a fun combination. I love how vineyard looks with that as well. This is definitely more my style as opposed to the brown, but I still think it's really um, beautiful that way. Yeah, so many of you have been loving macchiato though. Um, macchiato is my favorite coffee order. It's what I order pretty much every time I grab a cup of coffee. It's a caramel macchiato because they're the best, unless it's fall and then I'm ordering like a pumpkin spice latte or something, but 
I don't know, I love macchiato, so I had, this just screamed that to me. This is literally the exact shade. I'm obsessed. And it even has like that light, rosy color. Anyways, so this would be a really fun three color combo. Um, and of course, I just love how Galavant pairs with it. This is pretty much um, the tonal that pairs with every color in the collection. It's just pretty much, I mean, not every single one, but it definitely pairs with quite a few of them. And I think this would be really beautiful. I think you could get away with doing color work with this. You might have a little bit of trouble in the lighter sections, but definitely slip stitch pattern would be stunning with this combo. So yeah, these are the three combos that I think look beautiful with it. So we have Log Cabin Getaway, Vineyard, Macchiato, and Gallivant. So yeah, I hope you guys like this combo. This is the most popular colorway from the collection. Um, this is my first frost colorway. It's very beautiful. The response for this was slightly overwhelming. I've been dyeing this up quite a lot to do restocks. And I'm just so, so glad that I created a colorway that you guys love this much. So I, I'm really obsessed with it too. I love the, like, again, I have been obsessed with this combo of like reds and pinks and oranges all blended together. I think that's just such a fun combination. We have these like mustard yellow speckles against like this really pretty teal, um, teal green kind of green color. It's like um, a mossy green. And then of course we have this section with some bright um, oranges in there that are toned down by the base. And just this color is so beautiful. Again, I'm just really obsessed with all the colors in this skein. It's just so, so pretty and so perfect for, um, if not fall, it just um, really reminded me of not only fall, but also the first frost of the season. So where I live, that doesn't come until more of the winter months, but I just always am hoping that it comes a bit earlier in the season because I feel like um, just the bitter colds of fall are just so perfect for this colorway. And so many of you love the name First Frost. Here's what it looks like on my soft rose base. Again, just this lovely, lovely section pairing with this um, almost smoky green. It just has lots of gray undertones, a little bit of blue, a little bit of yellow toned greens, and it just makes for such a, a breathtaking colorway. And so yeah, these are what, this is what it looks like on my soft rose base. Here we have my rose gold base, which is so perfect for this colorway. I've also been really obsessed with my rose gold base too. I feel like it doesn't get enough credit because it's just so beautiful. I love how it just takes the dye. There's just something about the gold stellina that just adds such a magical layer to um, the colorway. So yeah, these are, um, this is what my first frost colorway looks like. The tonal that I decided to pair with this colorway was my festival tonal. And the reason I did this is because I really wanted to accentuate this section right here. So as you can see, it matches really, really well. However, this is obviously more pink tone, whereas this is um, has some brown and yellow tones underneath it. But I just love, love this section so much. It just is such a beautiful combination. So this was the tonal that I decided to pair with it. However, I also think that my conifer tonal is beautiful. If you want something that's like this beautiful shade of green, yet more intensified and more saturated, a little bit darker, then this is definitely the one for you. I think that this on Surrey held with a strand of first frost would be beautiful. My Surrey base, which was shown on Gallivant, is my rose cloud base on the website. I just think that these two are so beautiful, but of course I have to pair it with Gallivant too. I just am obsessed with this combo. I think that they're it's perfect because they're both the same hue. They're both the same tone, and that just is very pleasing to the eye. So I love how it looks with Gallivant as well. I also think that Demure would work too if you wanted something much more spring themed. This isn't really a fall combination, but if your color palette is more um, toned to spring, um, more prone to like spring colorways, then I think this would be perfect. So yeah, here we have Demure. These three would be really beautiful. So one more tonal that I think looks beautiful with First Frost is my Golden Hour colorway. And you're probably thinking that this might not go. However, when you pair it with like that, this really vibrant green mixed with this is such an amazing, amazing combination. I think this and color work would also be beautiful, or if you wanted to marl a, like a strand of fingering on this and a strand of this together, I think that would also be beautiful, mixing the golds and the greens along with all of the bright pops of color that 
um, are displayed in first frost. I think that would be such a beautiful combination as well. So hopefully this gives you some ideas as far as first frost is concerned if you're wanting to pair some really fun tonals, although I'm really digging this color combination as well. Aren't these beautiful? Oh my word. Okay, yeah, this should be a color work sweater for sure. Or like the sprocket socks, I think is what they're called. Um, I saw a, um, a few people on Instagram knitting those and they are so beautiful. So yeah, these would be so fun in like mini skein form because I have my fall collection of tonals available on 20 gram minis, which I will show you guys later on. But I think this is such a beautiful combination. So we have conifer, golden hour, festival, gallivant, and demure. See ya. And then of course, first frost. So I hope you guys like this combination. So the last colorway that is a speckled colorway from the collection is my thunderclap colorway. And I wanted to have a colorway that looked like a rainstorm in my mind because there's something so perfect about the rainstorms in fall. They always remind me, remind me of just my childhood in a way because they were so, um, all the rainy days were always spent um, like cozy by the fire or something that had to do um, with lots of cozy vibes so yeah i think this colorway is so pretty this is what it looks like on my rose gold base here is what it looks like on my soft rose base you guys have been loving this colorway the response was so amazing you welcomed it beautifully thank you so much for um, all the love you've shown this colorway here is what it looks like again on rose gold and here's what it looks like on my plump rose base again it just takes the color so beautifully on this base and yeah, here is what it looks like. This is Thunderclap. And can we just talk about the name for a minute? Because isn't the name perfect for this colorway? I've always loved the word Thunderclap. And so it's only fitting that that is what this colorway is named. The tonal that I decided to pair with this is my Vineyard colorway. It's literally perfection. I don't think this combo could get any better. Um, yeah, it's just absolutely perfect. I think this would make the funnest pair of mittens, the funnest hat, or just whatever other project you have had in your queue lately. Um, so I think this would be beautiful. I also really love the idea of pairing it with my Twilight colorway. That was why I brought a skein of this colorway. It's been in the shop for pretty much forever. I feel like I've dyed it up um, since the early years of Ruby and Rose's yarn. And I think this would be really beautiful if you wanted to bring out the blue undertones of this colorway. So I think what's really fun is as a knitter, you get to decide what kind of feel you want your garment or project to look like. If you want to, if you like wish that this colorway had a bit more blues in it, I think that you could just pull like a skein of twilight. Or if purple is your favorite color, you could always do this. Or if you want something that is, um, you know, pulls a little bit of the green out, you could do conifer. There's just so many, so much freedom as being a knitter that I think is so fun to just get to choose the feel of your project and just get to um, experiment with color and just yeah have a project that's perfectly tailored to you I think it's so fun so yeah here is this combo I think this is super fun as well anyways the possibilities are endless I know you guys are gonna have so much fun picking out your favorite color combinations and yeah I have had a blast showing them all to you so these, those were all of my speckled colorways. I will go ahead and show you guys the tonals of the collection just on their own because I think that it's important to just get, you guys get to just see what they all look like by themselves. And I'm going to show you my favorite combination of tonals and just how they pair together. And yeah, what they look like. So my personal favorite combination, I'm going to try to fit them all into the screen. <laughs> As you can see, there's quite a lot. These are, um, I've entered in some classic tonals, as you can see. This was not part of the collection, as well as, whoops, as well as these two, um, and this guy. So these three I just pulled from my yarn wall just to show you guys what they look like, but these are the original seven in the collection. So yeah, my favorite combination of tonals, something that I personally really want to knit with, is my Demure colorway paired with gallivant paired with golden hour i think that this combination is just absolutely stunning i think in a um in a color work hat is what i'm leaning towards something that would just really accentuate these three colors and how they would play together and i think that knitting a hat with these three and then like a mitten out of my and then knitting a mitten out of my bundle up colorway i think that these would make such a beautiful mitten and hat set 
anyways, that's some of my ideas. However, if you wanted to, if you're not into the pinks and you wanted to do something very much earthy and earth toned, then I would recommend something along these lines. I think that these four are so beautiful together. So we have Lucky Penny, Gallivant, Golden Hour, and Macchiato. I think those are really beautiful. And you could throw in maybe a skein of nutmeg that would be really fun so this would be really beautiful if you wanted to knit um like a really um earthy sort of um homestead style sweater any of caitlin hunter's patterns are beautiful for color work so caitlin hunter is boylan knitworks on ravelry and she is just the queen of color work i feel like a lot of her sweaters are beautiful for experimenting with colors and using more than um, a few colors in color work because i feel like it's so fun to get to experiment with a bunch of different colors and see how they all play together because as you know that's very much my style but you could always just pull two of your favorites if you want to do a classic color work feel and just use two colorways but I thought I'd give you some ideas. And then, of course, these three are really beautiful together. I think pairing um, a skein of Gallivant in with this combo would be really fun. Um, yeah, I think this would be really beautiful. I love all of these colors as well. So I will go ahead and run through the names one last time before I move on to the next product I'm going to be showing you guys. So over here we have Twilight, Conifer, Vineyard, Gallivant, Demure, Lucky Penny, Golden Hour, Macchiato, Nutmeg, and Festival. So hopefully that gives you a good idea. You can always send me an email or, li or leave a comment down below and I will answer any questions you have about this collection or any products in general. Next up are mini sets. Oh, they're so fun. Mini sets are some of my favorite things to dye favorite things to knit with they're just so so much fun if you have never knit with a mini set I would highly recommend purchasing one or you or using one because it's just so fun to knit with a color for just a short amount of time and then switch on to the next colorway and I think that's just such a really fun really fun thing to do and it just holds your interest beautifully especially if you're going through a knitting slump where you just aren't feeling very inspired to knit mini sets are the perfect cure for that it's just one of my favorite things to do when my knitting mojo leaves but yeah this is the speckled mini set from the collection so it features all seven of the speckled colorways in the collection so if you're wanting to sample all of the colorways without purchasing a full skein of each one because that is a bit pricey then this would be a perfect solution to that so i have pulled a skein of rose gold so one of my rose gold mini sets as well as a plump rose mini set so this just gives you an idea of the variations between bases it's available on my soft rose rose gold and plump rose bases so there's still quite a few left in the shop not a ton but you guys should have a decent chance to snag one and yeah i just think they're so beautiful I'll go ahead and show you i've kept a few for myself just because i mean i kept both of these because i have plans for a really fun project using these down the road but i just like i said adore mini sets they're just so fun this is what foliage looks like on rose gold can you guys even believe it look at this color distribution oh my word it just takes my breath away <laughs> and so yeah this is foliage here we have log cabin getaway go ahead and run through these i'm sure you guys have all of the names memorized by now i would imagine sh sh imagine so i hope you don't find me redundant um apple cider flickering flame look at these two. Oh my word do you see how this beautiful like chartreuse green pairs with that like chartreuse cedar green so pretty and then of course bundle up my favorite from the collection this is very much a me colorway very much my style so anyways i hope you guys love this mini set and yeah i cannot wait to see all the fun projects hopping on your needles and how you decide to utilize these minis and another thing I wanted to show you guys is my tonal mini set. So there is not a lot of these in the shop right now. However, there is some. This likewise, how I featured all seven speckled colorways, this mini set features all seven of the tonals. So if you wanna, again, sample all of the colorways, but don't wanna buy a skein of each one, then this is a perfect solution to that. I think that these um, would make such a fun, such a fun knit very fun color work or slip stitches or anything like that just a really fun yeah really fun mini set i love how they all look 
love how they all look together so yeah these are the mini sets from the collection i also have sock sets which i will show you guys next and then yeah after that that's pretty much all of the products <laughs> And one of my favorite products that was released in the shop update were these sock sets. I am so excited to have these options available for you guys because I know how much you love to knit socks. So here is what they'll look like. I've sort of arranged them in this like circular formation because I think it looks so cool. And yeah, so here they all are. So I'm, as you all I'm sure know the colorway names, I'll go over them really quickly. Log Cabin Getaway, Foliage, Bundle Up, Flickering Flame apple cider, thunderclap, and first frost, and then all of their corresponding tonals. So yeah, these are all available in the shop. They are available with th the option on three different bases. We have rose gold, soft rose, and plump rose base. So all three of those options are available on sock set form. So yeah, I think this is such a beautiful, beautiful like picture. <laughs> So that is it for this video. Thank you all so much for joining me here today. I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch this video and see what I've been working on and get to just look at all of the different colorways from this collection. I just appreciate all the support you've shown and just how you continue to purchase the products that I'm releasing. It just means so much to me and I thank you guys so much for that. So yeah, this is the collection. It's what just has made me so inspired to work these past couple of months just to get to look at these beautiful yarns and see how they pair together and just yeah thank you all so much for joining me here today and I hope you have a lovely week and a lovely um, rest of your day we have tons of knitting time and yeah hope you love these yarns I will talk to you guys later and see you in my next video bye